Hey guys, what's up? I uh, Sec the Tron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and um, this isn't exactly the last ten minutes of the war, um, but it's the, it's the last uh, three, uh, three and a quarter or three and three quarters rather. Um, I you know last video I I did one of these for the last One Hive war, and it. Um, we had like four or five minutes of just kind of waiting around. So I've learned from my lesson, decided to hit record a little bit later so you guys won't have to sit through as much kind of boring talking. But yeah, this is it, guys. We have two attacks left. Um, not the best war, especially for myself. Um, I performed pretty poorly, but um, I think our Town Hall 9s uh, could have done a little bit better. They struggled with some of the bases. And here we go. I'm in. Um, I didn't want to get to it. I didn't get around to saying kind of what we need, but just know that both these attacks are very important. Um, this one, if it goes for a two star, would be huge. Um, basically, we're down by four stars. We need a three star, a fresh three star from our Town Hall 11 on a dip attack, and we need this to go for a two star. That would that'll get us those four stars. Now, I'm not sure about percentage. It's hard to calculate. Um, obviously, right now we have a less average percentage, but that's because we haven't. Uh, attacked one of their bases yet and uh, this one could get more percentage as well so it's hard to know right now um, I, I didn't do the math I don't think people have been maybe maybe people know but um, either way I think it's exciting just to kind of have that mystery but if we can tie up the war that would be pretty huge and um, you know if we lose by percentage so be it but I think it would be cool to be able to at least tie it up and have the chance at winning like I said I'm not sure about percentage it would probably be pretty close um, but anyway, we need those four stars first, and the first one has to come from a two star here. Uh, those wall breakers, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, those wall breakers did not get the job done. That's really going to put this attack in jeopardy. This is the same plan that two people have tried, including myself, on this base, and he missed the queen's ability too. Yeah, this one's not going to go. Dang, that's too bad. Um, I'm not sure how he planned on sending in those wall breakers. We can maybe take a look at the replay or something. Um, I might back out. Uh, should I back out and get to catch the other one? Yeah, I might back out in just a moment and catch the other one. We'll see these dragons, though. Um, I wouldn't say he has no chance, but it's going to be very difficult here. Uh, coming in with those dragons, has the rages, has the the freeze, which should be for the, uh, pro probably the inferno. Or he's going to drop that right there. Didn't get a whole lot. I'm not sure what he was trying to get there. Probably the air defense and the, uh... Sweeper, maybe. We'll go ahead and back out, though. I want to catch the other attack live for you guys when it happens, and got it. Okay, so it looks like this war is not going to be the W for us, and uh, yeah, this one must have just uh, happened a few moments after the last one. We'll take a look at it on the replay, and uh, yeah, that's too bad. Looks like his last few troops will die. It was an air attack, apparently, but didn't go uh, very well, and that was kind of the story of this war, to be honest. We... Uh, you know, the Town Hall 11s struggled on some of the dip attacks. Those pups kind of funny, just kind of sitting there, you know, taking out those troops. But backing out for a second, the um, the Town Hall 11 struggled, the Town Hall 9 struggled. I think our 10s did a little bit better overall. We weren't great, um, but compared to our last war when the 10s really had, a, you know, problems with the one hive bases, our 10s did slightly better. So, you know, still we're kind of figuring things out. I think all clans are, and uh, it shows, you know, how close this war was, even though we did bad uh, for the most part. I mean, it's kind of, that's a very general statement, but even though we didn't perform our best, uh, war whales, you know, they had some struggles too, and we were very close at the end here. Um, so yeah, that'll do it. Uh, war ends right now. I mean, there might be an attack going on. Nope. Okay, we'll take a look at those last two attacks, and then we'll have to wait to the recap to see the rest. Um, I want to quickly see the wall breaker fail again. Uh, let's see what happens here. He drops down the troops over there, obviously, to take some of that out. Uh, get the trash building, so that's fine. Um, let's see the golem, though, as it goes in. Should be coming in just a moment. There it is. There's the golem. Um, as far as the wall breakers, let's see where he drops them. Yeah, he needed to drop them up on the top side of that barracks rather than where the golem was on the bottom side. So you can see they come in there, but there's two splash damage, uh, no chance of the wall opening up. So that's too bad. Uh, the attack might have, you know, had a chance had that not happened. Then we never saw really the other attack. Um, so let's take a look at it right here. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward, and here it goes. Uh, looks like he has a golem, some bowlers to get in there, get the queen, get some air defenses. I think this is a fairly good strategy for this base, because let's remember, um, like I've always said, if you can get three air defenses, you're in a very good position. Now, he's a Town Hall 11, which puts him in an even better position. He goes ahead and uses the warden for the kill squad, which you can use him for the balloons. Um because the warden can fly that's something many people don't know the warden has the ability to be flying but uh he goes ahead and uses the warden just on a small kill squad guess that was okay protects the bowlers protects the king um but i think the funneling uh for this base just didn't work out yeah his troops aren't going to the core that's the main thing he needed some way to make sure his kill squad got into the core and took out at least one of those air defenses but it didn't uh leaving three air defenses up plus that core which is so deadly all those um Tesla's wizard towers uh, has the balloons m making their way on in but you can see that core is going to pretty much destroy them uh, that's my guess at least I haven't watched this attack obviously yet um, has a freeze another haste but yeah this one's not going to go obviously um, so nice try to Anthony there we'll go ahead and fast forward I uh, actually got that inferno but that one air defense in the core uh, was an issue and then a few more archer towers that was what was left up so not too far from it I think the plan was solid the concept but the this compartment like that um, is tricky because it's not the easiest to funnel bowlers and your heroes through so anyway um, not the most action at the end of this war uh, but good good job to war whales we wanted to win because there was so many X one hive members in here I mean there was just a ton of people who were in Genesis who went to war whales that's that's kind of when we had our, uh, I guess, max exodus of players um, around, I don't know, five, four or five months ago. Maybe, yeah, maybe around then. That's when uh, we had a lot of people leave, and a lot of them went here, ultimately. Uh, they went to Reddit Legacy first, I think, then came here. So we definitely wanted to uh, show them who's boss, but couldn't quite do it. But yeah, anyway, good job. No hard feelings or anything. Uh, it was a great war. We had some fun. And uh, yeah, you guys will see a recap. Sorry there wasn't that much action in this video. Uh, I know it was uh, kind of slow, just two attacks, sort of. Um, second one wasn't live, but... Uh, that's how these wars are ending. They're always kind of suspenseful. I uh, haven't seen a blowout yet. Maybe some of the other clans have had that, but I haven't seen that happen yet. And uh, if you guys like this, be sure to give a, uh, drop a like and let me know in the comments. And I'll do that for the next CWL if I'm able to be on for the last five minutes or so. So yeah, let me know if you like this kind of mini series uh, at the end of the wars. And I wish I could have got more action, uh, like Town Hall 9 live attacks and stuff. But um, I'm busy planning my own attacks. Maybe that'll be different next week. So thanks for watching and stay tuned uh, on the channel for the recap and other videos uh, pertaining to this war because there were some great attacks. See you guys later. Bye. Sectatron out.